Medics and gentlemen, Templar of all ages, step right up and see the battle of the century. In this corner, wearing the purple Terran trunks, it's the Mad Hive. His ally, wearing the green Protoss trunks, the Psy Master himself, Contrarian! Their opponents, in this corner, wearing the teal Protoss trunks, the Comeback Kid, Dunamai! Wearing the yellow Protoss trunks, Mr. Fort Knox himself, Wolf Pack! And wearing the light gray, light gray Zerg trunks, it's Mike. Anyhow, if you weren't counting there along at home, this is a two versus three. Apparently, uh, Contrarian and I had ticked off these guys enough that they're, they decided they wanted to beat on us for a while. We had actually played a game previous to this where the two of us took on or had a medium computer ally on us, and we did win that game, and apparently that was enough for them to want to punish us. And it looks like uh, Dunamai wants to punish us with a proxy pylon, but as you can already see, I thought I saw some fishy probe activity going on, so I was already scouting this. I'm not sure where he's going. I guess he's not trying to do a cannon rush. We checked the production tab, and he doesn't have anything going yet. So maybe he was just wanted to, maybe he just wanted to do save this for a, a, a proxy warp in later. I don't think he had. He doesn't have any gateway. Oh wait, no. He doesn't have any gateway or anything yet, so he's quite a ways off from this. That's a long time to, to worry about not getting scouted. And I was a bit concerned about, you know, I didn't see his probe around, so I was worried he was going to be putting pylons all over our bases. And as you could see, I was desperate to get this thing down. If they were cannon rushing, that would be bad, but with the probe not in sight, that was probably a little, little danger. And it didn't seem like there's a can't error. There's going to be any warp gate rush anytime soon. So we are going to clean up that proxy pylon and continue. I'm trying to, to wall in over here. Contrarian is trying to wall in this side because, you know, we could easily just get run over if anyone comes marching up our ramps. And Dunamai's just getting his gateway. Wolfpack has already got his warp gate technology coming, so maybe he should have been the one pulling off this proxy pylon attack because he actually... Look, I'm even scouting again just because I didn't see that probe. Oh, there's there's a looks like he dropped down another pylon before he went home. Must be why he's behind. He's dropping so many pylons he couldn't afford to do anything else. So I uh, might put him a little bit behind, but it doesn't look like there's any imminent attack coming from us. So that should be pretty safe. Second gateway coming down here for Wolfpack. Spawning pool is down for Mike. Getting a second queen. Nothing wrong with some extra queens. Oh, I didn't even see this here. This is one of those colors which is kind of cool and different, but you know you can hardly see it on this, especially on the creep. Creep tumors, I'm sure, are extra fun trying to see. So it looks like he was going to go roaches, pretty standard. Looks like I've got quite a good saturation going. My wall off is mostly complete. There may be a bit of a gap here, but. You know, you're not going to funnel too many units through there. And once I get, yeah, I get some Marines coming out, they won't get very far. I think I have another ring. Yeah, I got a couple more Marines that were continuing my proxy pylon scout. And a Forge for Contrarian getting his expansion. I am getting my expansion because on this nice map, which is Megaton, we have this really cool uh, clustered base with four bases right here. And it looks like Dune is taking advantage of the one remaining slot in their home base. Wall in up here. Sort of a wall. I don't really know if I'd call this a wall in. It's just more buildings to keep a giant army from just walking up here uncontested. But a smaller force would just run right past this. If one of if was if one of us was Zerg and we were doing some sort of Zergling rush, it'd be, we'd be right past it. Oh, we got a Stargate here for a Wolf Pack. Two Stargates, actually. I want to see. Oops, that's not the one. That's not the vision I wanted to see. Oh, yeah, actually it happened right then. I did scan this, and I did see 
is Stargate's coming. And I'm gonna see that gateway. So I was that was probably a good time to scout. Do I have an engineering bay on the way? I do not. Well, I'm gonna wanna get that soon so that I don't get maybe I just figured Marines would be plenty. I do have a nice 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 amount of Marines here. Dropping on a couple more barracks. I since I'm putting up a second base, I could probably get even more, get my next second orbital command. Because I think I can go well over four racks off of two base. But let's keep it simple. And I'm researching combat shield. Oh, we got a lot going on here for Mike. He's getting uh, an expansion. He's getting overlord speed and roach speed. Overlord, I wonder why he's getting overlord speed. That's very interesting. I hardly ever get overlord speed, and I know he should, but it seems kind of early for it, unless he's got a specific reason for it. He's got two queens. I don't know why he has two queens. One of them should be spreading creep or moving to his expansion. And getting a Hydralisk den. So going for a standard Roach Hydra. And it looks like uh, Wolfpack is getting air weapons and ground weapons attack. And some Void Ray action going on in here. Dunamai has got the center of the map with his Zealot Stalker combo. Is he doing anything else interesting that we can see? Doesn't look like it right now. Ooh, a couple of spine crawlers for Mike. Where is he putting those? Not at his expansion. He needs to get these drones to work. Think he, yeah, he's protecting his main. Doesn't care about his allies. He's like, I just want to make sure that I'm taking care of guys. I want a robo, robo facility for Dunamai. And it looks like Contrarian is also going air. Oh, three Stargates pumping out the Phoenix. Which, in, in a recent patch, Phoenix did get a reduction in their construction time. 35 seconds, game seconds, Blizzard game seconds, whatever that is. And, oh, and we're getting tunneling claws for Mike. So we're really working on those roach upgrades. He's in the Evo chamber. He has an Evo chamber. Not researching anything yet, though. He needs to get on those research. He could. He could easily afford a research. Definitely could have. I mean, he's a little low on the minerals, but I think he could afford it. Oh, he's getting the hydros range, but he's got an Evo chamber. He needs to start getting those upgrades too. Looks like I am also getting my. I am getting my upgrades. My level one. Um, infantry attack and throwing down a factory. A little late for my factory, I know. But I don't usually do a lot of mech play, so the only thing I would need to get early factory for is to get my medvac started, which I also can get a little bit bad on until later in the game. And we're getting an observer out for Dunamite and a Twilight Council. Oh, we're getting level 1 air attack and shield upgrades for the uh, lovely phoenixes. No other attacks yet. They might want to get some uh, attack. Oh, he's getting the attack upgrades. What am I talking about? I'm an idiot, but he might want to... Well, I guess if he only got one Cybernetic score, he can't research the armor upgrade yet. Still a small force from Dunamite at the center of the map. Oh, we got this observer out. I wonder where he's scouting, and I'm done with something. Oh, sharing control. Oh, and he's going to get blinks, so he's going to go for some blink stalkers. And he's got another little force of uh, stalkers right here. Oh, these Phoenix might see them. Oh, but they are going to see these stalkers, which are sitting at this pylon. Oh, don't just don't just sit there. And we're gonna lift him up. And actually, you could probably lift both of them up. There's no reason to take them one at a time. You got plenty of phoenixes. He's gonna micro that one away though, and not take any casualties. He's gonna see that pylon. Can't lift the pylon up. Sorry, phoenix graviton beam. Not that powerful. Oh, we are getting the armor upgrade for Mike, and he's getting a spire. So he's going roach hydra and then throwing up a spire. I don't know about that. Seems to be a bit much. Because he's not going to be able to support Hydralisks and air units at the same time. It's just not going to happen, especially not on two base. Looks like I'm finally getting a starport and stim and my ar level one armor upgrade. Blink is almost finished here, and now it looks like Contrarian is switching over into Void Rays, and he is pinging these stalkers that do not have Blink yet, but Blink is coming, and it looks like I'm about to throw down a sensor tower. I've got a nice marine marauder ball forming here. My armor upgrade on oh, my armor. I'm getting stim is almost done. I do see these stalkers. I saw them because he pinged them. And then I scanned them. Blink is now complete, but I've got a bead on it now. Who's That's Contrarian's Pro. We don't have to worry about killing that. And it looks like the, maybe the Phoenix were afraid these stalkers were coming this way, but... Now my sensor tower is done. I do have eyes on these stalkers. It looks like they are trying to run their way out of my sensor range. 
Oh, and they're gonna run back in. Yeah, yeah I think I'm kind of a. Uh... Oh, he's trying to avoid the sensor tower. He's blinking over this little chasm. Now that is that is very amusing. I like that. That is nice. But he's got oh, just this little space is the only place where I can't see him. So he's trying his hardest to try to stay hidden here. I don't know what he's gonna do. Oh, we got a hive coming up for uh, for Mike. I don't know what that blink was all about. That was kind of a wasted blink. Now he's got to wait for the cooldown. So we are getting Hive Tech up for Mike. I still don't know why he's got two queens here. And they're at full energy. No larva inject. Oh, that's not good. And two queen down here? He needs to be spreading creep with, creep with all these queens. That's what they're good for. Oh, and the stalkers are... Tr I guess they're trying to blink in here. They have no vision, though. And, oh, those are just some transferring probes. Lots of tra transferring probes. And can I see these? Oh, duh, obviously. I, I was wondering if my sensor tower could see him. I don't need to. My SCVs and my gas geyser can see them. So they are just sitting here. They don't have vision, so they can't blink up on the high ground, but that's like what they wanted to do. Oh, oh, it looks like I'm going to respond now. Keep the medevacs back. We don't want them getting shot down. Yeah, and the stalkers are going to get shot at. Oh, Jest is going to snipe that one. Thanks to Marauder Slow, which I obviously have, and it looks like we're getting armor attack or armor upgrades for Contrarian's air, as well as Wolfpack. He's also getting his ground armor. Oh, and three carriers are on the way, and we're gonna take care of these stalkers. They have zero chance of chances of survival. So nothing, nothing going on yet. Oh, and looks like we're getting adrenal glands for zerglings that I don't think Mike even has. Check the units tab. No, he's getting an upgrade for zerglings that he does not have. Not really sure about that. But we do have a greater spire on the way and corruptors in the air. You know what that means. And now he's, he's got overlords. You, dude, you have like twice as many queens as you need for your hatcheries. You can use creep tumors. You don't need overlords. <laughs> Look at this. All these spore crawlers. He's really, really afraid he's going to get attacked. And he is just defending his own base. Man, look at all these defenses. And he's got he's even got spore crawlers way back here. There's almost no way I could get back there without wiping out somebody's base first. So I'm not really sure. I guess he didn't realize how little space there was there, but there's no way anything is going to squeeze back there. These... These two, would, I'm sure, would be enough to drive anything but a large air force away. And if any air force large enough to just want to fly over these, it's probably enough to just destroy them. Unless it's, of course, Phoenix, which obviously cannot lift up a spore crawler as much as they can't lift up a pylon. Oh, and I'm getting my level 2 attack right now. Looks like level 2 weapons attack for Dunamai as well. And still carriers coming out for Wolfpack. Oh, and here come the Broodlords. Dum, ba 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 boom. Boom, boom, ba ba boom, boom, broodlords. But are they going to be enough for my 1-1 one, one army, soon to be 1-2? And level 2 air attack for Contrarian, who is also getting carriers. Does he have any carriers out yet? And does he have any, up does he have any upgrades? He does not have the Graviton Catapult just yet. I believe there's another upgrade that doubles the interceptors, or is that gone? Am I still thinking of StarCraft 1? I'm not sure, but if not, then he's got it. And getting level 2 carapace for Mike's ground force. Which is not going to do much for his broodlords. I almost like to see him get the uh, upgrade for that. Or actually, I've heard that the... Uh, oh, he is getting... Oh, don't queue it up. Never queue up an upgrade like that. That's just, that's money now that is just tied up in that. But it, it actually is good for his broodlords because the broodlings do benefit from from the ground attack upgrades. Well, and the ground armor upgrades too, obviously. And it looks like uh, Contrarian and I are starting to get ready to move out. Heading towards this watchtower, which are all these stalkers, and none of them are taking the watchtower. And level 1-1 one, one carriers here. 2-0 uh, stalker zealots here for Dunamai. Mike has not yet moved his forces, but he's got a lot of stalkers here. But I do have marauders, and marauders will eat up stalkers. Although I think that's uh, a lot more stalkers. That oh, and Thor is here. So I do have Thor's in there, just two. 
and I actually stimmed up those marines. I was trying to bait a couple of stalkers into the battle, but unfortunately that seemed to kind of trigger a battle, so I'm like, all right, let's just do this. We did kind of catch their forces a bit split up, a bit of a mass blink micro, not exactly the way to do it, but with this many units, I'm not sure you can blink micro effectively against this kind of force. And here come some stalkers and zealots for a wolf pack, and here come the brood lords which I was really worried about when I saw them, but then I forgot, hey, we have a ton of air here. And guess what Broodlords can't shoot? Air. And there's a lot of Phoenix here. Phoenix don't do any bonuses to, to Broodlords, but when you got this many, who cares? And plus you got the uh, Voideries, which do have bonus damage against the Broodlords. And I was a bit worried here, but we did actually wipe this out. I actually kept my Thors alive, which is great. I don't usually get a lot of Thors. And it looks like Contrarian is going to keep up the harass. Oh, these carriers are looking pretty vulnerable. They are way outnumbered. He needs to focus those down. Focus those down. And he's focusing them down. Oh, there's some stalkers hiding under there. I want to take care of those. And here comes some more stalkers from Dunamai. Looks like I'm trying to bring in some reinforcements. I'm probably not doing my best at that. Yeah, I got a ton of resources. I'm not the greatest on my macro, especially when the battle gets heated. And it looks like we have found this expansion for Wolfpack. It is not going to be long because look at this massive ball. I do have 2-1 two one, uh, two one on my units. My level 2 armor is almost done, and these Marauders are just going to start sniping that geyser for no apparent reason. I need to get some more... I have 4 medivacs, though. How are they doing on energy? A little low on energy. I could use some more medivacs, or at least give my uh, medivacs some time to recharge up. And who's that? That's uh, Dunamise. I'm not really going to do him much good, and one scan, I think, would be history. But I'm not really too worried about observers right now. It looks like Contrarian has cleared out this side of their base. The auxiliary spot, as it were. And now they're going to go to town. And Contrarian wants us to move. And so I shall move. Wolfpack's fleet beacon is going to go down. And soon to follow the... Oh, his, all his production facilities are going to be destroyed. Oh, will this level 2 attack... Oh, level 3 attack finish? I don't think it matters right now. Oh, the Stalkers are going to blink right in. That's probably not good, because that allows all of my units to shoot at the Stalkers. And it looks like we are getting some 2-1, uh, one, or 1-2 one, Hydralisks for Mike, but they aren't going to do Wolfpack is going to drop out of the game. And it looks like this mass defense for Mike is going to start coming into play now. Maybe a little bit late. I'm saying we're around here. I wasn't trying to be sarcastic. I'm saying that they were not going to let us live down the fact that we beat them two against three. I don't know what horrible games they're going to come up with us in the future. And there goes Mike out of the game. And apparently Duna my left at some point. I wasn't paying attention because I was blathering on. So yes, that's right. We actually pulled out a two versus three game. I hope you enjoyed it. It was quite a stressful game because when you're going up against three people and you've only got one ally it's always stressful but i hope you enjoyed it and have a day